stocks up on stimulus. How pathetic is this, everybody? The stock market is rising on hopes of another Fed injection, more checks being sent out to the American people. People have been waiting for months and months and months. Millions of people can't pay their mortgages, can't pay their rents. The economic collapse is being disguised right now. It's being masked. But most people have no idea what's going on. Hey, everybody. JJ here, Bull to the Bus. It is Tuesday, October 20th, 2020. As we only have about 11 days left in the month of October, things are about to get very, very interesting. Today we've got some news to cover. We're going to talk about more predictions and more calls for gold being part of the new financial system. I know it sounds crazy, but we're going to talk about the people that are mentioning this type of transition. We don't know what's going to happen. I don't think anybody knows for sure, but it's going to be very interesting. Let's look at some information here. First up, right here, Mike Maloney on Twitter. Are you prepared for a new gold-based system? And he links to his output here. I won't uh, play it for uh, his benefit. You want to go over there and check out this video. Get prepared for a new system based on gold and silver. We've been talking about this. There's going to have to be, there's definitely going to have to be at some point, a real money-based system to replace the current failed fiat funny money currency system. And uh, Maloney says under here, in today's must-watch update, this will create a global economic convulsion like the world has never seen. There will be a wealth transfer and everyone will participate. You do not have a choice. Your only choice is, A, are you going to have a wealth transfer towards you, uh, the wealth transfer towards you, rather, or away from you? It's all up to you, Mike Maloney. Now, there's certain words involved in his analysis that I cannot say here, uh, but ask yourself, is more fiat money going to fix the problem, or are things going to continue to get worse and worse and worse until a different system is implemented? Well, I think you know the answer. Jay Williams tweeted out the following about Jim Rickards. Jim Rickards in an interview with Kitco says, Brace yourself for the new Great Depression. Strong hands are watching gold. So Mike Maloney's talking about a wealth transfer. Jim Rickards says, Brace yourself for a new Great Depression. Strong hands are watching gold. What's going to be coming? What is coming? What's going to happen? Right? Nobody knows what's going to happen, but I get very... I'm excited when I think about the possibilities. Now, I'm not saying this is going to happen, but if you are positioned for the possibility of this, you're going to find yourself much more comforted and in a much better position against the possibilities. And I think we're going to see some big surprises coming up very, very soon. This is just my opinion. And you might want to ask yourself why central banks have been buying gold now for many, many years. Will we see the Fed digital dollar and the global currency, or will we see something different? Will we see the Fed fiat digital dollar take over as the IMF is laying out, or will it be something different? Will it be a hard asset, precious metals-backed currency? Let's take a look at a chart right here. This is out of macrotrends.com. Take a look at the correlation between the Fed balance sheet and the gold price, it moves pretty close here, pretty steady, uh, tied together. But you see the disconnect here lately with the Fed balance sheet jumping up and gold being suppressed over several years from 2012 to 2018. And now we see the rise, but the rise not nearly, um, not nearly as big as the recent rise here in the Fed balance sheet. So there's a big gap to fill right here a big gap what's going to happen is the fed balance sheet going to drop ask yourself is that possible without collapsing the system the fed cannot sell off assets on their balance sheet because it will collapse the system remember this is a debt based system so if the fed's balance sheet cannot decline without complete implosion of this debt based economic system what has to happen to fill this gap gold has to go up even more and guess what? Other metals are going to follow along. Silver is going to follow gold. And I think silver is going to see even a bigger percentage increase than gold is. 
right look at this chart look at this gap look at the disconnect now between the fed balance sheet and gold i'd like to hear from you what do you think and what do you think about these calls or these uh, predictions about the new financial system please let me know down in the comments i'd like to hear from you on this and if you haven't looked down in the comments on this channel please check it out there's a lot of smart people down there people a lot smarter than me and people that add uh, a lot of valuable information to what I'm saying here, uh, check out the comments down below. That's the lifeblood of this channel. And I want to thank you for being here, for continually coming back to this channel. Um, as I mentioned, I'm just a one-man operation. It's just information. Um, I'm sure I could put on a suit and put on a tie like a lot of people I see on YouTube to try to make themselves uh, appeal or appear to be more uh, of a, a scholar. Uh, but I believe that the information is the key, and that's why I like to show charts. We like to do analysis here. We don't just talk. And I've been hearing from a lot of people how you've done very well for yourself um, in metals and mining stocks. Uh, also, some people still long in the stock market. People are front-running the Fed. They know the inflation that's being created, including uh, the stimulus that supports the stock market. And while the bankers supply unlimited fiat liquidity into the banking system you know that stocks are going to keep rising but could we be at the end or near the end of the period of incentive for the funny money fiat bankers to continually prop up the stock market what's going to happen after November um, you guys let me know guys link down below SD bullion Get yourself positioned. If it doesn't happen, you're still going to have some metals that will never, ever lose all of their value. There's always going to be some demand for precious metals no matter what happens. But look at the evidence. Listen to what we're saying here. What makes sense to you? Just use your intuition. Use your common sense. Is more fiat bills flooding the system going to help anything? Or is it going to continue to get worse and worse and worse? Are we going to continue to see more inflation? If you think fiat dollars are the solution, then stay 100% in dollars. But if you know that something bad is on the horizon, that this is not going to end well, that there's going to be some sort of transition into a um, more sane economic system based on money that's been around for thousands of years, and I'm talking about precious metals, link down below, get prepared, everybody. What's your position? You let me know. I continue to hold uh, metals, continue to accumulate metals, especially silver. Uh, minor stocks, mostly cash. Uh, will cash be converted into a new currency and will it better to be in fiat paper bills or some sort of hard asset? I think you know the answer to that. Let me know down in the comments, everybody. Thanks for watching today's report. Love you all. Bye.